Today at ShopTap.com, we're gonna show you how to replace a battery on a Touareg. Okay, so Touaregs have a unique placement of their battery. They are underneath the driver's side seat. Now, we are gonna show you how to replace this, but before we do that, our battery is stone dead. We have no power whatsoever. So we're gonna to have to show you how you would jump off your car to get power to the vehicle. Let's say you were to try to jumpstart it. Again, it's under the seat. You don't put jumper cables on there. So you let's go under the hood of the car. So we have our jump pack here. This is going to be the positive terminal. It's normally gonna look like this. You pop that off and you put your positive terminal on there and then you put your negative on this post right here. And then we can turn this guy on and then we'll be ready to get power in our vehicle. Here we are in the back seat of the vehicle behind the driver's side seat and we're gonna start by removing this torque screw. Okay, so we're gonna start by taking this torque screw out. This is for this HVAC duct is gonna be holding to the top of this battery cover. Once you get that out, you can pull this carpet out and you can access these clamps below. Now, these clamps are not easy to get to, but you wanna stick your finger on the bottom of them and pop them from below until they're open like that. And we're gonna do the same over here. Now, what I'm gonna do with this seat is I'm gonna push it all the way back, and then I'm also gonna, to, uh, I guess, decline the seat forward so that you actually can push this thing as far back as possible. Because basically what we're gonna be doing is the battery's underneath this seat, and we need to flip it back. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove this lower cover that sits underneath the seat. So you can start by sticking your hand on top and then you kind of pop up and then it pulls out. And it's kind of usually a gross after many years. All right, and there's our trim piece, gross. Now we're gonna remove these floor mat clips because we need to access these trim pieces right here. Yuck. These two trim pieces need to just pop up and all you do is pull them up, just have clips that sit them in place and that one had no clips sitting in place. Now we have a screw here and a screw here. These are triple square screws. You will need a triple square, which is a special tool that not everyone's gonna have. Okay, so we are gonna remove these triple squares, 10 millimeters, and then we're gonna flip this seat back. Okay, now we have those unbolted and we're going to flip this seat backwards. So we're just gonna be pushing up like this. We may need to go up a little more, but we'll, we'll mess with it later. We're gonna unclip this battery cover box. So it's just these clips right here and another one here. And then we are going to lift that battery cover off. That harness was clipped on there. We're gonna get that clip off and then we're gonna remove this cover. And there's our battery. Okay, so we are gonna crack these 10 millimeters loose that hold the battery in place here. As you can see, there's some corrosion there, so we are gonna wanna clean that off. And same thing back here. Crack this 10 millimeter loose. All right, now we got that one off. Now, we're gonna take our battery tie downs off. What we're looking at is going to be, there's a major tie down right here. If we take a look, Closer, let me give you a closer look here. If we take a closer look here, there's a battery tie down right here, and then there's also a 10 millimeter right here. So we're gonna remove these, uh, and then we should be able to get our battery out of, out of the way here. Should I just crack that loose? And then remove this, and just pull this whole bracket out. Now this is a vent tube that's on the battery, we can remove that. All right, now we have our 10 millimeter tie down here, and we're gonna crack that loose. I should be able to just Loosen that by hand rest away probably. And then you wanna pull this up and out. Now at this point, I believe our battery should be loose. And so we're gonna lift this thing out of, out of here. Now you can see the space is not huge and uh, we have a very large battery. So we're gonna slide back here. Now the key with this is getting the front of the battery up enough that you can get it out. So pull that front up use the kind of the terminal to hold on to and I'm gonna grab this handle and pull it out okay so we're gonna be going in with our factory battery this is a Volkswagen battery if you're wanting to make sure you have the right battery for the car uh, you will want to double check either for you your VIN that you're getting the right amperage and all that stuff as far as being the correct battery for the car this vehicle as far as terminal side it's kind of hard to screw up because as long as you're getting the right battery for the car terminals on the right side 
then there's no way you're gonna mess it up. But going in and out is really the hardest part because this is a heavy battery and a tight space you're working in, but that's actually what we're gonna look at now. So let's drop this battery in. I, it's, it certainly is helpful to have somebody helping you with the seat pulled down so you don't have to deal with that while you're fighting the battery and you can just drop it in place. Okay, so if you look down there, you'll see there's actually a channel where the battery is sitting into. You wanna make sure it's in that channel to make sure that it sits in place so when you lock it down with the other clamps, that it's gonna stay where it's supposed to. Okay, so what we'll see here is this is corrosion that's on the terminals themselves. So I have some emery cloth here. I'm gonna clean all this stuff up. You don't you wanna make sure you, that you get as good of a connection on your battery as possible because that's not good. That's gonna interrupt its connection to the new battery, which means you could cause some issues with getting proper power. And I'm gonna do the same thing in the inside here to make sure that the inside of this looks great. Okay, so the trick with this is you gotta get it in place and you gotta pull back on this positive terminal because this portion right here gets in the way. So you gotta kinda get lay down, get your left hand in and pull it back and then get your right hand on your 10 millimeter and get that threaded in place. So we're all good there. I haven't tightened it yet, but we're threaded in. That's the hard one. This is gonna be the easy one. Should be able to just drop this in place and then put our other 10 millimeter right here. All right, that one's all tight. Double check to make sure your battery's in there nice and tight. Shouldn't have any play or movement there. One note, when installing a battery, you first wanna start by installing the positive battery terminal, snug that down first, and then move on to the negative terminal. And then we're gonna throw our negative terminal on. And we're we'll snug up our battery terminals. You don't wanna go crazy tightening your battery terminals. You just wanna make sure they're tight because if you do, you'll snap this off and these nuts are usually not available individually. So you have to, only way you can purchase them is with the whole cable or you have to improvise. You will wanna replace this vent tube. There is a hole right in the front corner here where the negative terminal goes through and then it goes into the side of the battery where that vent hole is. And then we can just tuck that guy down, make sure it's not in the way. All right, we're gonna go back in with our cover. And you just want to lift everything kind of up and out of the way for you so you can clear it. And this vent back here, you got to get up and out of the way. And then that guy should sit flushly on there. So what I'm going to do is clamp down the front of our box. And then what I'm going to do is get all of this stuff seated to where I think it needs to be. I'm going to push this seat forward like this. Just make sure I can clamp it down from the back. Okay, so we have our seat moved back again. We had it move forward so that we could access the rear where we screwed in the Torx for the mounting of the air duct and then as well as clamping down the rear portion of the top of the battery box. That's all set, so we are going to thread these triple squares back in place and then tighten them down where we're going to then put our trim pieces in place. We'll provide the Torx back for the seat mounting screw right on the screen here. Okay, now we're going to reinstall our trim pieces. These just clamp down on here and then this piece just goes underneath and clamps on. Then we're going to get into our system and erase the faults. Because Toregs have a lot of control modules and what's called battery load management, where it controls control modules connecting to it and turning on and off based on battery voltage, Oftentimes when you get a low battery voltage, you will end up with a slew of faults. That's true on most Volkswagens, uh, but especially true on these. So you will wanna actually go through and clear the faults with something like OBD11. We'll link to OBD11 just so you can get familiar with it in the description, uh, but you will want a scan tool to clear all the faults and check all your control modules. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.